Okay, we are finally back for the final conclusion of our uh, Spectre Studio CR90 campaign. This is the final installment for this campaign that you'll be seeing here. Uh, it has not looked good so far. If you haven't watched the other videos, please do. It'll, you'll understand why the state of the mission is set up in the parameters that it is. So, yeah, it's going to be tough. Uh, we've got a 3x6 board going lengthwise. So uh, the CR-90 is basically got to get from the Rebel end through the Imperial end. Through an asteroid field. Through an asteroid field. A mined asteroid field. A mined asteroid field, yeah, that's right. That's why it's called, um, the mission's called Minefield. I only got one additional upgrade, which I did put on the CR-90 because I figured that's the best place to use it from the one mission that I won. Yep. Um, and I've got uh, a few escorts to go with it, but this is not going to be easy. Uh, well, uh, it, we it's a big ship. It, it it absorbs a lot of damage, and it's just a long way to go for a ship that doesn't really move that fast. Right. So hopefully, it, you'll have to be pushing it hard to get it, build your energy, and and try to fight off these that's, swarms. Uh, I will say before we even get started, that's the one good thing is because it's such a long board, you can pretty much guarantee I'm going to be going straight a lot, which is you know uh, uh, building up three energy every yep. time. So I will have a lot of energy built up. It's just I need to be able to focus and put it in the right area to help the ship right. make it, help the escorts fend off your waves, which are not all at once. Um, they're coming in drones. So, you know, yeah. it's not a lost cause. It's just going to take a lot of uh, tactical. Campaign-wise, uh, we've, we've stayed pretty fluffy. So for the Rebels first, uh, our Patreon supporter, Mark, Yes, he's my he's no longer rookie, granted he's flying a rookie X-Wing, but yeah, I don't consider him a rookie anymore. Uh, Mark Jacobs is back as one of the s will be squatting, lead, trying to lead the squad to kind of get, because he was making some kills last game. If you haven't seen that, Sniper. check it out. So uh, hopefully he'll be able to do that. On the Imperial side, um, I went with a lot of Black Squadron pilots, there's about three of them, and they have a new Academy pilot for all the ones that have been uh, ran into the CR-90, so we had to recoup our losses there with some young blood there. Uh, the Scimitar Squadron uh, is also the big deal for this the mission. If you've seen the last two, they have their cluster missile loadout has been the bane of the CR-90. So X-wing pilots will need to be seeking them out as soon as possible. Yeah, that's, that's, those bombers are uh, now. Uh, I know you got a uh, couple of uh, defender, a couple of. Uh, yes, uh, I brought the Typhan, two Typhanums. Phantoms out, but I'm not really as defender. concerned about them as I am with the bombers. The last few missions, the bombers have just, when they come through, granted, I was not in a good position to help defend against them. Those cluster missiles, you know, defending wise, yep. they roll like crap. <laughs> yeah. Shooting with cluster missiles, everything that, tends to hit. Yeah. yeah, the Phantoms are, again, more of my enjoyment. So, again, these are just campaign lists for, for the fun. I definitely could have put more TIE Fighters out there and really span the world. But uh, we're, I'm keeping it kind of fluffy. I'm, I'm putting a little pressure when I take on the Scimitar. Uh, squadrons with the missiles, but um, other than that, you know, I want to put the defender in there and see if uh, he can do a little bit more hassling damage and stuff like that. The only name pilot I have is Echo, and we'll go over some of the lists that of some of the pilots going in there. Yeah, other than the uh, that's it. other than Mark Jacobs, I do have Biggs, right. uh, and that's obvious uh, tactics to, uh, to try to draw fire away from so the CR-90. Uh, I just hope he can survive the amount of fire that he's probably going to end up drawing. So. Yeah, so hopefully he can basically do a lot of that. Uh, again, if you haven't seen the, first, the video prior to this, uh, Patreon supporters, they get a special rule um, as since they're a named person in our thing and we want them to succeed and do well. You have a re-roll for all defense dice for uh, the Patreon pilot. <laughs> came, yeah. Came in handy. Pretty well. Kept, kept, uh, another reason why we don't kept our Patreon working. pilot alive very well. So we're going to get right into this. It's, uh, we're, we're pretty excited. We're uh, you know, unfortunately, this is the end of this campaign, but we will be having campaigns on the X-Men world after this, so don't don't fret about that. Uh, we will just definitely get this going, and let's see if the CR-90 makes it or it is over. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the Rebel, I don't even want to call it uh, attack, or it's escape force, the escorts <laughs> for the CR-90. Um, so, CR-90 front and aft, um, it basically... If you're familiar with the missions, and I know one of you are because you corrected us, comes with two single turbo lasers in the fore section, a sensory team and a gunnery team. In the aft section, it has an ionization re I'm sorry, uh, well, ionization reactor. This is the free upgrade that I took. 
and then uh, quad lasers and engineering team and the Tabana gas supplies. Uh, so again, the key for me is to uh, figure out where to put the energy and how to best use it to get my CR90 from one end to the other. As far as the escort team goes, again, Biggs, he's actually coming in with a hull upgrade because, again, I expect him to take a lot of shots, so I want to keep him around as long as possible. And then I put the R2 uh, D2 unit on him, so as long as he's moving in a uh, green maneuver forward, he'll uh, recoup some of those shields. And then three rookie pilots, uh, the Patreon contributor Mark Jacobs does have an R5 P9 unit and one of the other rookie pilots does have an R3 A2 unit those are the only upgrades uh, so it was a little bit of uh, quantity over quality I guess and hopefully that will uh, be enough to to get the CR90 to the end it's it's all about getting him off the uh, board not about survival with everybody else so see what we can do Okay, so I had 240 points. I have to break it up again into four squads between 50 and 70 um, to go after the CR90. We'll basically start with, I, we've been having the Black Squadron pilots in the entire campaign uh, that started with it. I felt keeping them in. There is only one Academy pilot to make this, uh, to get in the group because basically to keep the points at 240 and it makes sense since some of them have died to crashing into the CR90. This is the big bane that uh, Fet Spectre Spectre is looking for, the three scimitar uh, TIE Bombers. Two have two cluster missiles uh, pack sets in it, uh, the other one only has a single one. Then we brought two TIE Phantoms because I enjoy them, both with advanced cloaking devices. Uh, and the uh, Echo has an out maneuver, so we have a name pilot and then the other shadow squadron pilot. The other one now I have is an Onyx squadron pilot, so a TIE Defender and HAL Runner. And they're pretty much already deployed on the board when you get there. So basically you can look at this long stretch of board. The CR90 needs to escape all the way to this very, very edge. So he's got so a So far run. away. Yeah. So he's got two TIE Fighters following and the suit. You see uh, the Onyx Squadron pilot TIE Defender with Howl Runner behind slowly pursuing. There are little token scope tokens that you'll see here. The minimum uh, pilot, the minimum squad size will be popping out uh, per turn coming out of that and once they come out of these scopes they will be removed. On our new asteroids you'll see these little uh, circular dots on it. There are charges on them. Every one. And there's going to be two plus two because I won two of the campaign missions. Again if you haven't seen them uh, you'll need to check that. So four of these six charges on these asteroids are uh, live active charges so they have to be very wary of that. Uh, it's three dice, they will take any hits and criticals from those um, and I can activate them within range one of uh, an enemy ship uh, or a ship in my turn or if any ship lands on them they'll automatically detonate. So that is the long run and the Imperial Sides has the initiative because we won two out of the three campaigns and uh, we will go from there. Okay so uh, the CR90 just went a two Blasting forward, these guys did a very slow follow suit, still protecting. That's uh, our Patreon pilot, Mark, Mark Jacobs, Jacobs, following uh, leading up there. Yeah. Biggs and his rookie have gone immediately off to engage Hal Runner and the Onyx pilot. Yeah, the but, quick uh, strategy was I thought about moving four and sacrificing a little bit of energy, but I figured I'd build up a little energy in the beginning, just get some stored up in some of the additional uh, areas that I had. Uh, and then with Biggs, I'm going to go ahead and engage. I know he's got one squad coming out uh, right after this round to assist, so I want to try to knock these guys down, if not out, as soon as possible. Uh, and then the other two, I'm learning not to force everybody towards one, so they kind of took it slow and, you know, they obviously have nothing this round. So if he comes out anywhere over here, I've got some defenses. <laughs> All right, well, How Runner starts first and has to shoot Biggs because he's in range one of another ship. Range so it won't two. be the rookie in front of him. So two dice here. And that's one hit. Biggs has a two dodge. And he did focus. So you want to use it now or no? Um, no. Okay, so we'll lose one shield to How Runner. And then, then it is Biggs' turn to to shoot back. 
All right, he's got three shots. He will fire his shots at the Thai defender. I'm pretty sure he's in range one. Yeah, so four shots. And he has a focus. Does he want to use that or is it defense? He will use the focus. So he'll put on three hits. All right, so. All right, so the uh, defender has a three ability. So he knocks off one. So he takes two hits. Takes two hits off his shields. Which is both shields. He no, he's got one more. He's got three so, shields. That's right. Yeah, so he lost that. He's down to, I'm sorry. He's got one shield remaining. Now it is his turn. He again has to fire at Biggs, uh, which will be one, which we four just dice saw. for him. Oh. And he is going to use his target lock because he doesn't have any missiles anyways. Nope. Oh, sorry, Candy. That's nope, on Biggs. That's on the rookie. So, yep. Three. So that crit's going to hit his shield at least. And he's he, a focus of he, two, he, so he loses yeah. the last two shields. All right. Two out of the three get through, and he loses shields. Now the rookie. I'm sure he's going to put... Rookie is going after the tie defender. So he has got... Three dice. Four, four dice. Range one at the tie defender. Additionally... Oh, actually, we have to... It's actually this guy's long shot Oh, there. shoot. Yep, big guy. We, uh, we forgot about back. the 090. Uh, he target locked the Tyrant Defender, so he will fire the Tide Defender. He range five, five. All right. in the middle. Or, I'm going to get down here. Uh, I'm going to call it five because I can't really see it. Okay, so that's top. three dice defense. Um, and that shot has a four. So the big primary. Boom! Okay, Spend the target lock. So, no focus. Nope. So three hits. See what we got here. Lose a die. And he doesn't have any focus, so two shots get through. So one shield and one damage to him. Excellent. So he those. takes one of these. And now his shield was. Now the rookie can finish up. So he's so got he the four has shots. Four shots. Now additionally, the rookie has the R3A2. When you declare the target of your attack, if the defender is inside your firing arc, you may receive one stress token to cause the defender to receive one stress token. I will do that. So okay. stress them both out. Fire shots. So he's got a focus. And I'll use it. Put all four on him. So he could end up taking him out anyways, and actually it's going to end up hurting him. Because he kills the defender. So the one ship is down already. And, and he is stressed. Up. All right, so good first turn for the Rebs. And again, no shots on this side. Okay, so CR90 has continued to slowly move forward, continuing his, his building energy. Uh, Mark Jacobs, our Patreon pilot, is still following suit with his Ricky Escort, uh, Wingman. They've left to that. Howlrunner has blown past the two other uh, X-Wings. Biggs has lost his action because he's crashed into uh, one of the TIE, TIE Fighters here, uh, one of the Obsidian Black Squadron pilots. The other rookie has not, but they're uh, they're all least to go in that direction. We're going to start first with Howlrunner, because he is in oh, range shit, two. Shut up, bitch. All right, so I'm going to try to move on over here. He's got two shots into the back part of a reinforced aft section, and he's going to hit, so the shield will take it out. Reinforcement holes. Yep. So that's fine. Then it goes to Biggs, who can now shoot four shots into one of the. Um, uh, he'll go with the guy right. Yep. Right in front of him there. So four dice. Four shots. And two. He's not focused. So. Three agility. And that guy is focused, so he'll only he take the it. crit. He, uh, no, oh, he is. Yeah, that's so you're gonna focus. Yep. So uh, I'll take the crit damage, which is. He loses a secondary weapon, that's not a big deal. He doesn't have a secondary weapon. Yeah, that's number what, 18? Uh, number 19. 19. All right, so he's got one damage on that. Then it goes to these obsidian pilots. Um, one, I don't know if he's in range of anything. Maybe that one right there is touching. Start here. Yeah, he's actually range three. Range three, base to base. All right, so he's going to fire a long shot at the uh, back end. Uh, he does have a focus going on, so that's not going to mean anything. Uh, uh, nope, so that hits the reinforce. So this is three shots on Biggs, because he has to shoot. Biggs nope. there. That's right. 
Uh, he used his focus up, so he's fine. Then the other ship will be range three again. On the uh, big ship, yep, so I am. Out of his arc. Yep, I'm rolling. Uh, All right. Was that four? Yeah, right. but you have a range three aft. Yeah, so he does get one block. And he's so reinforced. So fine. I love when we go to well. Oh, I'm not going to play too much once the okay. cluster missiles oh, show up. Hold on. Well, uh, I'm going to do the front. He's going to do the front. He shoots after my guys, but it doesn't matter. Oh, so we'll doesn't go he? ahead and uh, go it anyway. So. No, we'll, uh, we'll start over. I'm not ready. Right. Sorry, I forgot he wasn't, uh, he was just in a academy pilot. So then we go with the big guy. Uh, so he target locked the academy yep, pilot. that's important. Before he could get him. Fired, so he will fire his large, which has to be Range three. three. Five, which is four, so he'll get some extra dodge. No, for that, I think it's because he's in his firing arc. It's base, so it's three. I have to be three, five, so. Right, oh, but I'm saying it's three range. Gotcha. So big four shots from the primary. So, yep, so we can end up killing him right off. So, three. Nope. nope, he'll take the dodge, so he's focus. all fine, yep. Now he'll fire back at nope. two well, rounds. Get some secondary weapons oh, here. Oh, secondary weapons on this thing. Um, backside quad cannons firing at HAL Runner, burning okay. one energy. That is three shots, range one, two, if I'm range one, two. Take care of two. Range two. So we got three shots, two, three, and one, one because I don't have a focus. He has a focus, so he'll use it to dodge, thankfully. And let's see, spend one energy from this card to perform this attack. If this attack does not hit, you may immediately spend one energy from this card again. Might as well. Okay. So I'll spend another energy, fire another three. Since his focus is gone and only one possible. Come on, force! Now he dies. Got so then the. Now the four section. Still has energy on two? Uh, yep. Alright, so all so the guns. Single turbo lasers. I will burn the two energy from that. It is range three five. Yep. So he will fire at the academy pilot. And that is four shots. Okay. Two. Or defender doubles his agility value against this attack. You may change one of your focus results to a hit result. Hey, you don't have any focus? Uh, nope, but no, if I roll a focus. Oh. So I can change that to a hit. So I got one hit, and you double your agility. So a six. Pretty sure you can dodge that. And he does. Barely. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> Now he fires his two shots at the oh, big man, thing. I should have used my uh, target lock. And now he misses because he's used his focus. Right. So no shots from this side because yep. they are out of range. He still has his focus. But and now he's it only got one sh oh, yeah, guy he can fire at, so he's gonna four at number twenty-nine. And might as well use focus. the focus to turn that into a hit. And he has no focus, so he'll take one oh, damage. No, he evade. So yeah, oh, so yeah. I had no focus, so he did that. So one more damage on number twenty-nine. So we got another, another wound here. So I have not done well. Almost nothing to the uh, to the rebel forces with some pretty bad rolling again. And uh, yeah, so we're back to the maneuvers. All right, the commander's pushing it. Turn, turn. He's got this. He's got this stuff going. Try to get through the asteroid. The TIE fighters have all flared. I, I'm not good at flying formations. Two of the guys bumped into the academy pilot and then domino. I don't know how this guy. Well, you talk off. about that. Um, yeah. My rookie pirate over here hit. Yeah, he, uh, rookie move. He also didn't realize who was going away. Go anywhere. So he got stuck in no man's land. Biggs is ready to perform and, and try to get some heat off. Uh, yeah, rookies really kind of. So the other rookies kind of did bad because uh, our Patreon pilot did well. He's still escorting. But then the rookie did a turn and ran right into uh, our Patreon pilot, so that wasn't well. The CR-90 also burned its Tybunian gas supplies to get a little bit more energy to stack up on all these guns, because these TIE fighters are all over the place on it. So he needs to do a little bit of extra damage. We're going to start with Howl Runner. He's going to hit that uh, the front section that's not reinforced. Oh, that's a range. Is it range 1? I imagine so. Oh, range 2. Range 2? Yeah. It's just the base, right? Yep. And we'll technically range one. Alright. So, firing away. Three shots. 
he's got he did no focus, so he does nothing. Wow. Yeah. So now we go to uh, Biggs. He's gonna take on who? The Academy pilot. You want the Academy at two? Range two. All right. So the Academy pilot fires his or Biggs fires three shots. Three shots. He does uh, focus. He's on focus. Yeah, because he's pretty fine. He's not in any danger of anybody. The Academy pilot will uh, take both. Wow. wow. Our young pilots. Our young pilots are doing pretty good there. So no then our uh, no shots. Well, first we gotta no do the oh, city guys. Sorry, obsidian guys. Our black squadron pilots. Our black squadron pilots. They're gonna black squadron. Fire at the front section. Two, 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 two. All right. So they'll get one reroll from Howl Runner. All in the front. So we'll reroll that. So there's two shields down from the front. Then the second pilot. Reroll from Hal Runner. So two more shields down from the front. Last pilot of range two. Reroll from Hal Runner. Jesus so they just knocked down all the shields and put one damage right from the group. Uh, boom. Boom, 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 boom. So the squadron pilots who have been harassing the CR90 since the beginning have uh, done some damage instantly. Now you're going to have to really start uh, trying to get these shields back up and everything. So no right. shot from Rook. Big guy. No shot from a Patreon. Oh, the big guy, the big guy. Oh, the big guy. Yep, yeah, sorry. He needs to retaliate. Losing the, uh... Start with a big gun, because that's the longest range for him. Range... So three to this guy. Three to, uh, the back guy. Firing four shots yeah. here. If you're asking why you do the back guy, because that's the big gun. Yep, yeah, he has to be range three five. That guy is range three five. So, three. Oh, screw it. I'll spend the target lock. Spending the target lock. Four. <laughs> Need it. To get rid of this guy. Let's see how he dodges with ups. Oh, gets one extra dice for being range three. So four dice dodge. He Two, does have a focus, three. so he's going to make it three. So he takes one damage. That's uh, pilot twenty nine again. So he's really up to two. All right. From there, I will spend two energy for a single turbo lasers up front. Okay. Hopefully. Supposed to be firing uh, range three five. Which so those guys are too close. Those are range two on all three of those other ships. Those are all range two. So that so same ship that you uh, yep. hit before. That's uh, a four shotter. Okay. So Mr. Uh, last, the last guy is getting all the shots. Funny as it is. Ooh, three. Ooh, two uh, of them are this one has doubled my agility though. Uh, yes. Uh, well, wait, was that the focus result? So that yep. was actually four hits. So hits. Yep. Um, but double the defender's agility against this attack. Okay, so it's six dice plus one for range three. So let's see if he can dodge. He needs to dodge all four, though, because uh, he's down to his last light. And he one, does two, three, three, but he didn't get the fourth one. So the and he'd already used his focus, so he is dead. So we lose uh, another fighter there. And I do have quad lasers in the back. I'll burn an energy on that. That gives me three shots. I will fire at. Take it, Mr. Hellrunner. He's causing the most havoc. He's range one. All right. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's a quad laser. So one, two. All three shots on him. Wow. All three. Woo. CR 90's like, screw you guys. He needs it. He uh, have any one bait. dodge. Vase, so he takes. Hellrunner will take one damage on him. So Hellrunner takes the hit. And. I did hit, so I can't. Yep, can't spend the energy on that. Another. Uh, didn't have any blank result. Uh, I guess that is going to be it for now. So, the last rookie, USA, we said the other ones didn't have a shot. No shot, so. But what about this guy? Oh, yep. Let's see. He, has, he doesn't have anything to. He has no ec, nothing on it, but yeah, he's, he, got, he's uh, got somebody. Howl Runner at range three. Alright, so he could probably put Howl Runner away. Barely range three. All right. Three shots. And the way you're rolling, why not? Come on, I guess. So one, one hit, two hits. That's how runners now dead. So wow. Smoking, hey. rolling hot. Rookies can't fly, but they can shoot. Damn. All right. So uh, how runner is out of play. He was the eight, and I don't think this guy has Biggs has any shots. He's the next one at five. Uh, like, uh, uh, sorry, our ship's kind of. Full forward move. Uh, it's recovered three shields. The uh, Scimitar Squadron has shown up uh, at the end of round three, so they've moved up. Target on lock. Start of turn four. They've target locked all the front. And the 
Patreon pilot is lined up. The rookies are coming back into play. And now he doesn't have anything. Because he just touched, he ran into the academy pilot who barreled out of the way. Because I wasn't too sure if he would try to clip me. Should have. <laughs> so, this guy oh, though, I turned. has what? A couple shots into. Yep, range two. Back, range two. Into the back end. He has no skill though because he uh, he ran into the other guy. So he puts two shields down. And then the other guy will shoot probably the rookie right here. Should be ranged. Just he turned a hook. Two. Two. So he's firing. Two shots into him. So three agility. Mm -hmm. Two agility. Two agility. And he can use his evade or. Does he want to do some offense? Offense. So he loses a shield. Save it for offense. Then the uh, the initiative. Big has nobody, so the big guy. Uh, yep, the big, big guy. Good. All right. Uh, we'll start with the big gun on this first guy. Yeah, I think range he, three. Is he range three? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. Well, for me it is because I go. No, you go from the I base. Go, yeah. From the base. Oh, so I thought it was from the no, from the big gun, isn't it? From the if center? he's out of your firing arc. So if that one's in your arc. Oh, alright, well then. Went for the last TIE Bomber? TIE Bomber? Uh, no, I have to go for this guy because of that whole blue line thing. Oh, yeah. So, range three. Okay. Middle guy. So two. Um, let's like spend the target block. Three. Uh, I don't have any other energy, so three. Oh, TIE Bombers only have two agility. Uh, there's no focus, so we got two crits. Come on, double damage or something. Yep, there's double damage. Four damage, so he's Ooh. got, he's almost dead. <coughs> that was perfect for you. Number 24? 14. Yep. Number 14. Yep. Bam! And anything else on him? Um, I do have his back section here. Quad lasers, burn the energy. And... There's that, three shots. Well, it has to be what one two. Might as well go for the same guy. All right. Try to finish him off here. Drop the door. Nope. Nope. Nothing. And I do not have any other energy to set up. Shot that. All right. Um. So I know the first one is in range uh, three. So he's going to go first. Yeah. You have no more. You have nothing else, right? So uh, you're all going all front. Yeah. So we got. But if the other one was in range three, he can't fire his. He can't fire the. Uh, well, cluster misses. You're just going base to base for you. So two, yeah. two, and two. They're all in range two. They're all in range two. Oh, okay. So we'll start with all this on the front. So uh, we'll start with that guy. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So start with him. He's firing his cluster missiles first. Target lock. One hit. One shield. Two more hits. So three down. There's the shields. That's the first, uh, what number is that, 24? So that's the first cluster missile launched. Yep. Second one losing, just launching again. Yes. Guy that took all the damage. So one hit. And that's one damage, so... And the next group is nothing, so... Hey, that guy got hit so bad, he, got he, so hard, he's like, ah, he didn't do you? anything. Last, last guy at the end. Number 13. Yep. Spending the P. One hit again. Another damage. And then three more hits. Oh, ouch. So the front is now a oh, one away. Straight hits. Yep. So he is six. Two He's got away. Two hole. Left. Two away, and the front might be down. So that just that game just changed a lot. Definitely, and uh, definitely. rooks. Let's start with the Patreon. Let's pilot. start with the Patreon. Yeah, 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 here we go, Mark. Fire at the first we, one. Number twenty-four. Help. You need help. Well, uh, Four shots. Uh, actually. Or you want to go through the other guy and finish him off? No, because uh, no, I'm gonna finish them off. Finish off the middle one. Yeah. So that's range two. Well, they may not have uh, may not have all those ice then. Well, no, we'll go with this guy then. Okay. Yeah. Four shots. Four shots. Uh, he did oh. focus, so three. I only have two agility, so that's gonna be one going through. Spend it. Uh, all three go through, so he took a lot of damage to this uh, this ship. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. So there's three on this guy. 
Uh, let's we'll over probably here. Probably two shots at the one who shot him. Range two. Iron bat. Three shots. Wait. Yep. yep. And he didn't. One shot. Yeah, one. He used his focus. <laughs> he didn't use his focus. So three dice there. He dodged. Damn it. And then this rookie way over here. Yeah. Probably the one right there. Or he wants the academy guy. Either war is going to be about the same. We'll fire at the academy pilot. Two. Range two. Three shots. Three Got shots. to focus on him. All three it. hits. Rookie is dead. So he kills the rookie. Another Imperial ship goes down, but... A lot of damage done to You have point. a lot to worry about, because this is your big gun now. So the CR-90's got some... It needs some help. It uh, needs some help. I'm doing damage, but not... A lot. Now, yep, and those bombers are a big issue, not the those TIE fighters. bombers are killing me, as usual. So we have mines in play, and uh, he's decided to activate one because the CR-90 is within range one, and why not? It's got so a bunch let's of see damage. What it yep. And it does hit. So I get three dice on it. Let's see what happens. This could be it. One. one more so damage. not it. Oh. But close, and the asteroid is gone. <laughs> Yay! One last thing to run into. <laughs> no, they've been running into anything lately. All right, so uh, we are back. So the CR-90, uh, curious maneuver. We talked about it. They're banking hard. This does have some tactical advantage. We want to explain this because I know uh, my, th my thinking was, what are you doing? You need to get the hell out of here. But he banked away. This only allows one TIE bomber to get range with his weaponry. The this one, one is, is blocked, thanks to our, uh, our great commenters. Uh, they let us know that bomber, his, his line is going to go right through that blue line. So he actually has no shot to the front um, from, from what he just did there. The other TIE bomber went, away, went around and did a, a dick move. <laughs> he, uh, he blocked the rook, <laughs> so he wasn't able to do any action. As did the uh, Black Squad TIE. Uh, yeah. This is key because one of the reasons I banked... There was two reasons I banked the CR-90. One was for the obstruction against the the bombers on this end. The other, Biggs was supposed to go three, which would put him over here. And uh, I was hoping that would put him in within range one. Uh, yeah. And depending on where people were pointing, he would be able to absorb some shots. Yeah. Unfortunately, he So this obsidian up, pilot so. did, an, did the second dick move and kept him from getting close to the, uh, the big ship. Yeah. But the rookies, other, I mean, he still got... A shot. Yep. Yep. These guys still Our have shots. Pilot so, is over uh, there. The other rookie is now following wingman to Biggs. So Biggs is going to get a long shot because he doesn't have an action, but he can go for this bomber at range three. Uh, if I fire at this guy, he gets he an gets obstruction a, bonus. Yeah, range three and a bonus of being obstructed. But I'll fire at this guy. So three shots. <sighs> yep. Range three. Going on. Oh, oh Jesus Jesus Christ. you have rolled this combination of threes without any I'm, uh, unbelievable. I'm on target with uh, hitting. And I've rolled nothing hits. but eyeballs, so number f that guy is dead. So we have lost another ship. He explodes. I am, now we're not going to remove him because I do believe he still gets to shoot. No, because he's in range. That's his initiative too. Yeah, but don't. Or is that only if there's same initiative? That, yeah, uh, same initiative. Okay. He's dead. Gotcha. He's dead. So, he so that's, that's the point of being a higher pilot. Wipes off, uh, wipes him out, and then it goes to the Obsidian pilots, uh, Black Squadron pilots. Oh, I don't know why I keep calling that Black Squadron, but this guy is going to fire at the front. At the front, so I think he's at range three. Uh, range two. Center, yep, center to center. Space. Center to center. Center to center. Oh no, uh, it's got to be center of my ship to center of your ship. That center of that uh, side. Oh, for shooting the big guy. Yep. And then in his range three. Sorry. All right. So. Can I get a dodge. Yep. And oh, it fell out. Uh, he has no eyeball, so he will get. The ah, he takes the shield, shield off. off. That's, that was one the big deal. All right, and then this guy will probably shoot at. Uh, I guess I'll shoot at Biggs or. You should. Well, I have to shoot at Rick Biggs because. Oh, you have to shoot at Biggs. Because Biggs is within range, range two. Huh? Range three. And he's not, not focused because focused he's stressed. Woo! Biggs for um, So now the big ship will fire. It doesn't have a lot of energy and guns. Uh, actually, has no energy and guns. He has no energy and guns. So all he's got is his primary, which has to shoot a three-five, so which means sh he shoots at. The, he can shoot at the one that shot at the black squadron yep. pilot. So four dice. So four dice. Give me those four in the end there. Keep up the hot rolling. So two. That's a miss. That's a miss. He's evaded. Yeah. I don't know if you want to use. And evade. I use that's, enough. that's what I will use. I need it anyways. Oh. So he's now. Uh, uses that. 
And now it will go to the scimitars. So this one. We'll start with the little guy over here. Yeah, I think he has. Does he see Biggs in his line, though? Negative. So Biggs is out of his line of sight, so he right. can fire. So three. What's his attack value there, two? Uh, two. Range three at the rook. Uh, he's not focused because he barrel rolled, so he yeah, only got one. So dodging here. Three dice for the rookie pilot. He's fine. Whee! The other guy will let loose on his cluster missiles. Here goes the N. Yeah. So this is my, actually my last cluster missile because the other bomber is Come dead. On. One time will bend. <laughs> and one down. There still was one shield. shield. And he got him. Bam, oh, bam, bam. So those, three. those are and crits, though. You have so to deal with the crits. One's through two crits, it doesn't matter. It's down. The front end is yep, down. Yeah, but we have to do if there's anything that goes to the back of the ship. Nope. So two crits. Yep. So weapon damage nope. and comm failures. Uh, place one of the upgrade cards equipped to this section there, doesn't matter, this section's gone, cannot perform coordinate action, okay. doesn't matter, the front's gone. So neither of those so, factored in. So now the front is highly, <laughs> highly damaged. Here. Which basically means the... Now it's just the down to the back. So now it's only a two cannon gun, so we'll try to get over to this. Only got two regular, or two shots from the primary. Um... And that's the only real, other than, and I lose all the uh, upgrades from yep. this side. Oh, shoot, I forgot to do something. What? Crap. What did you forget? Uh, I forgot to use this ionization reactor. Ah, uh, when that was on it? Yep. Which we could still do because this guy still has a lot of hit points, correct? Number, uh, number 13? Yep. All right, so just for the sake of being out of order, ionization reactor, burning five energy. Okay. Range one, all, all of the ships range one suffer one damage and receive one ion token. So that would only be, yep, just the the one bomber. So he's gonna slow down. So he gets a damage. So it takes a oh, he gets damage. He is unhurt, but he does get ion. So and he's, he's ion, and we are done there. I don't think there's anything for else to do except one. put the other ship in. I'm not gonna not detonate it. One, so. All right, so uh, some movement going. A um, little interesting tactic I used here. I went ahead and, I don't call it boost, this thing's not that fast. Uh, I went four straight knowing I would run into an asteroid. The front is already gone, so no matter what was on here, whatever damage, it's, it, I use, basically use this as a battering ram. Yeah. ram. So it hits the asteroid, it was uh, mined, detonates, but there's no yes. further damage that's going to happen to this thing. Um, that's my understanding that uh, yep. it's down, there's no additional uh, That's damage. That's what it says. So. That's actually confirmed it in the rule. Um, All right, so the rest of it, the uh, so Black Squad pilot continues to play uh, bumper cars and, and is keeping Biggs from getting anywhere near his uh, partners uh, other than his rookie that's hanging out behind him. Yeah, these two guys did moves, but they did run into uh, to each other. Sh uh, to another ship. Like this one ran into the first. Of scimitar the ran into this guy before he moved. Yep. This black squadron ran, ran into the, the Scimitar. Back. The two rookies, our Patreon pilot, have drifted off. This has brought in our Phantoms, Phantoms. that came in from last turn. Scimitar cleared his ion with a small maneuver, yep. but did put target in a target lock. lock to the aft end of the Corvette. Right. So, so now we actually have Echo. And Echo is going to fire into the back end yep, of the Neither gun. one of them uh, cloaked. Not right now, but they will after. So he's got four shots. Uh, was that number yep. six? Where am I going? Range three. All right, so that means you have an agility. And I did reinforce. Okay. And that's, that's three hits. All right, I'll take one out for the reinforce. Yep. Nothing else. Two so hits. One goes a shield, and the other one is a crit. Oh, crap. Well, oh, here we go. This is where the damage starts hitting hard. Changing up. When you execute a maneuver, reduce, reduce the amount of energy you gain oh, by actually. one. So that's uh, not good because I'm already not gaining a lot of energy. And they have advanced cloaking device for Echo, so then that ship goes to cloak. And then the other ship will fire because it is... It is uh, uh, you were focused. Fun. You didn't have any... I didn't, yeah, I didn't okay. get it, so he's still staying focused. Second ship. Yep. Range three. Range three. Four shots. So again. He does have a focus. So we'll use it. And then we'll kill it with the reinforce. Yep. So one's going to get through. So two, two get, get through. through. Nothing is criticals. Bam. And but that ship also has Afton an advanced... only has eight <coughs> in the back end. And that so. ship has an advanced cloaking device as well, so it will go into cloak. Oh, can I use the focus? It use his focus, though. So. All right, and now Biggs can probably get the bomber. <sighs> That's about the only thing you get. Yep. 
Range three. Range three. The guy sitting in his face. Yep. I'll block you, I'll block you, man. He's got uh, three shots. Oh. And he did not focus. So I'll yep, took his action away. I did focus, no, but I didn't focus. Did so block. two more hits on that guy, which is number what? Number 13. 13? 13. So he is almost dead. Oof. He's got one left. Oh, too bad I don't have anybody else to fire before him. Oh, I do. Yeah. I got the big guy. Uh, yeah, if he has any energy on it. Weapons, um, he, he is reduced to a two shot on his large cannon. So he Actually, first, uh, this, these obsidian pods fire. Oh, Black yep. squadron pods fire. I'm sorry. So. I'm going to start with this guy. Yeah, I don't think he has the big, he doesn't have the, uh, doesn't have the CR-90. So uh, no, CR-90 is He's yeah, center to center. Out of his so he needs the rookie. Uh, do you want the Patreon or do you want the guy closer? We'll go with the closer guy. Alright, so I was range two, two as opposed to a three if you went with the Patreon. Pilot Mark Jacobs. Uh, not focused, so nope. just one. So two dice to dodge. He Patreon. dodges. And then the other guy will fire at Biggs because he has to. He has to. I, I believe that's range, range one. So. Range one. And. One. One. Because he's not has focused. Got, uh, two. Two dodge. And he's fine. Barely dodges. Oh, dodges just not. And now it is the CR90 with its oh, gun. Okay. So he will fire uh, at Echo is the uh, number is six, right? Yep. And it's going to be center to center is going to be range four. Okay, so. Two shots, and Echo's got a boatload of so dodges. Strength four? That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He missed. All right, and now the and back gun needs to get some help. Check. He does. He's got. Well, it's nothing else fancy you can really do, so let's see where I'm at. Um, center to center. You need to dump that bomber. Or do you? Uh, it's got to be range one or two, it's so it's, it's got to go with the bomber. Center to center, I can't. Not the center of the, the ship thing, the center of the actual base thing. Like, not no, not like that. The oh. center of the... No, like the middle of that part. This? Nope. Oh, no, you lost me center to center. This is the center of the space. Oh, yeah. Range two. Yep. Okay, yep. So he does able to fire. He's just within the uh, range. So you could get him. Come on. You're, you're hot rolling that you've been having. Yeah, no focus. So I need to survive, though. You got it. You have oh, an energy. I do. I'll spend it. You got Start it. Again. Got it. <laughs> got to. Got no choice. There. Uh, oh, this could be it. Two. Come on. That's one. That's one. enough. So he's dead. Gets rid of the scimitar. One scimitar down. So ships have been going down. Whew. And then uh, my rookie pilots. Start with the Patreon pilot. Nope, the uh, oh. scimitar. Oh no, you've got a scimitar. So he's going to go three Biggs. shots on Biggs. Range one. Because he only has a two up icon. So here we go. No focus, just two. two. So one. one. So Shield. the shield goes down. So he's shieldless now? Oh, nope, uh, Biggs has yeah, gone straight the last couple of uh, rounds, so he did uh, with the R2-D2 unit, built up his Okay, now rookies. Up. So this rookie does have him, or you can try to clear Biggs. Uh, he's going to try to clear Biggs, so he'll fire range 2 at yep. uh, that guy. It was a few shots. Yep. Two shots. Yep. Uh, two Ooh, crits. Two crits. Dodge, Dodge and the he evade token. The evade. So Woo! he will survive and still be a jerk Woo! to Biggs. Sorry about that moving camera. So, alright, now we go to our Patreon guy. Alright, well, well, I'm gonna use the other guy first. Alright. We'll be. if I can get this thing first on that. Range, range three. three. Against uh, the lower of the Kay. two. Three shots. Two hits. Two. Focus will not come into play. And two dodges. dodges. And the Patreon pilot will fire at the same. Uh, he's at range two. So, I've lost one uh, defense die. Shots. Jeez. Uh -uh. Oh. Now he's dodges. Easy. So the phantoms have kept, kept what they're doing. Focuses do not come in. All right. Play. So we got our section has got three damage on it. Uh, we will so note that all the away. imperial ships are on the board. Yep. So this is it. So this is all I have left. They've got to clear five ships remaining. They have done about a ship around, but the back end is in a lot of trouble right now, and. We've got to get a lot of other ships into the position. 
And those phantoms are deadly at close range, so that's what that's another big problem for them right now. Yep. All right, so uh, things are opening up a little bit. The CR90 is making a beeline towards the edge of the galaxy, the board. Um, you have to go for the end. I know I have to go for the end, not the side. <laughs> uh, so obviously my next mo uh, move, next hand. round, is, is, is going to be easily to determine on, uh, on your part. Yep. Um, I'm going to have to hook left, but I wanted to try to distance myself a little bit and give my escorts a chance. The problem is my escorts only have one guy in front of them. <laughs> Everybody else is behind them. So yeah, that makes if I can get the ass in to survive this round... Then they can kind of slow up it's and kind try of, to take on some. The targets. key is I've got three guys lined up on uh, Echo. Yeah, um, all mine to cloak. Unfortunately, he will be able to cloak prior to do anything. He's not going to have any shots, so he's just going to instantly cloak. It's going to make it harder to uh, to hit him. Um, it's these other guys that I have to survive, depending on which what range they're in. So we start with Echo. If you look at his arc, he does not have the big guy in his arc. So I'm assuming you just want to go into cloak mode. If I can't attack, I can't cloak. So, uh, so he has to be able to attack. So wanna, so he, does he have any evade? He does have any evade. No, I had to put the focus up on him. So you do have focus. I didn't know if yeah. you were going to turn. I expected you to turn, yeah. so so I got to play with what happened. Yep. So that's that. So he's unable to cloak because he does not have a shot. Yep. So that's good news. Yep. And then uh, go so there. check this guy. He's Shadow Squad. Range three of somebody. He is out of range of the big guy. So that's good news. All right. So I guess he goes on big then. He is able to shoot. Well, he's actually able to shoot bigs anyway. So range over two. Range two. So shots on bigs. Two. two. Bigs has two. Two, Jesus. so Bigs takes a hit. Bigs takes a hit. Bigs takes a hit. Bigs takes a hit. So, sorry about that, guys. Ow! Alright, now Bigs can fire back at Echo. He will fire at Echo. And two. We'll be range two. Firing his three shots. Mm -hmm. uh, good focus, good so that's focus, two. So we'll use it. And he dodged. Jesus. That was big. That was big. Yeah. He's. Well, he's in trouble because he actually only has two hull. Well, he has two shields. That's he's good. got two shields, so he's got four hits. He can All right, so we go to, to Black Squad pilots. Black Squadron pilots. They're probably in range three. Still or range two. Range three. Three. It is range four, so I can only do one. Oh, it's a crit. I got that. Oh, dodge. range two. Yes, yeah, so you dodge. Oh, oh the reinforcing. Wow. Woo! And the other one is also range three, I take it? Uh, this guy, yeah. Yeah, okay, so firing again, and he got uh -huh. nothing, because he ran into the back end. And then... And the scimitar? Yep, they go next. So one up have, the rookie? Yep. Range Marvel. two? Two? Oh, hold on. Range two. Yep, right. just a little bit over. Uh, no focus, so just one hit. So two dice. Two dice. No problems. Yep. Pretty much now leaves rookies on Echo. All right, we'll start with the uh, first rookie over here. Range two. two on Echo, firing three shots. They're probably completely all hit on this one. Thirty-one. He's got nothing fancy. So, yeah, oh, jeez, there he goes. The rookies. I uh, had a focus, so I will. Had a focus. So all shields are gone. The shields for Echo are and gone. And then the Patreon pilot. Um. Put your own pilot. Two. Range two. Fire his. Yep. Three shots. Doesn't have anything on that. What does he got? I am focused. I don't, I don't need to recover any shots. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ, these guys. So we did. Takes two hits, and Echo is down. I knew I was going to lose that fan just like that because of that move. So, once again, everything the rest of the guys well. do not have any shots here. Okay. Alright, so like I said, pretty obvious which way the CR-90 was going. It had to turn. Uh, I did go for a two maneuver to try to get a little bit more distance towards the end of the board. Uh, unfortunately, it only gives me one energy because of the critical damage that was done where I'm, I'm uh, down in energy on certain moves. Shadow Squad pilot decloaked, put himself to the side, and then uh, his maneuver 
put him in a good area. I'm pretty sure that's in range three, so he'll be able to light up that aft end. Biggs tried to do a K turn, not knowing where this guy was going. Actually works out for him because now he has shot. So again, if aft end survives, Biggs might be able to help clear. The Imperials are in a nice line to throw in a lot of shots. The Scimitar uh, did go ahead and uh, target lock. And then the rookies all are lined up for shots at right. several different <coughs> So the Phantom Pilot starts first. Yep. So let's find out where he is at. Three. Range. You're just going base to base. Uh, yep. Three. So let's see what we get. The reinforce. He does have a focus. He's using it. Alright, so the focus is gone. So you're gonna it's get a crit. Yeah, it's gonna be it. So, reinforce. So, two, two and a crit. And a crit. Two, three, four, five. And a crit. Immediately remove all energy stored. Oh, there goes its gun. And on all upgrade cards equipped to the section, flip this card face down. So, he is up to six damage, loses the energy. That was stored. And he, which immediately, was a whole lot. and he immediately cloaks. He's like, oh, hang yeah, on, okay. And <laughs> then Biggs. Biggs, range, range two. two. Three shots. I saw you there. Two and a crit. Two and a crit. And so one shield will go down. Then the Black Squadron pilots. Probably range. What are they? Oh, let's see. It's We're going now. Pretty important. Two. Range. So three. Center to center. Center's so center to the back. Three. So three. So start with him. The other one. So three. Three. All right. So we'll do them. So here they go. Oh, he needs this need one. Need it. Reinforce. will take one. Didn't. So one Take more damage. damage. What are you at now? Seven. seven. Any? This one gets three, through. Five, six, seven. This one gets through its trouble. Oh, it, it is. It's a crit. You need a you need this dodge. Use the force, Luke. Use the force. No. Oh, it's down. So the game is over. The black squad pilot does the last hit. That is the end. The mission has failed. The CR90 did not get through. Let's do a recap. And it's over. Uh, it's the campaign is end. The Imperial Street. Three right down to the row. That CR90 is too freaking slow. It doesn't have any damage. Well, you uh, you made the comment early, but you, uh, you went for energy to speed um, because you just were starting to get into like the Imperial area into the asteroids. Hindsight's always twenty twenty. Yeah, always. Um, the CR90 really didn't do anything as far as offense. Well, if you had known that prior then I probably would have been doing a lot more four maneuvers just trying to barrel through. But well, I think you knocked a couple ships. It's... I mean, you were... Hellrunner was one it's of the... It's one of those things. You Hellrunner know, you took care of? Uh, well, I did I take you that back. You took care of the Scimitar bomber uh, because uh, that bomber would have had you if you didn't get it. Yeah, so I take that back. He, he did do a little bit of damage. Um, well, it, it's rolling the dice. Uh, well, <laughs> in two different ways. Strategy-wise, um, again, going for the early energy and... Yeah. Uh, but, you know, as I peer over at the board, there was still probably five, six rounds worth of movements for that CR-90 to get to the end of the board. Yeah, but there were um, only four Imperial ships. But so there was only seven, four, so... Seven of the Imperial ships were, were shot down. The other way, we're rolling the dice. Holy crap, my rookie X-Wing pilots yeah. know how to shoot. Yeah. There is no doubt about that. I was absolutely amazed on... Yeah. The amount of hits. You mentioned it. How many times it was all three? Boom, boom. Yeah, boom. I. Uh, and you, that's crazy. You had rounds where it was literally lethal. That's where I, like again, that's where I was down seven ships. Uh, the only so, problem is, is I couldn't uh, roll that well for dodging for the CR90 because I don't have any dodge. Well, and when I did have dodge. I didn't dodge. Well, so, the, when I look at this, the way that the, scenari the scenario went, uh, one, uh, the bomber group did did the payload. That, yeah. that set the tone for, uh, when they showed up because they they crippled the front yeah, pretty hard and fast. Um, you got to get rid of two of them before the last one was down for what they did. So you, I, I lost one payload out of that group. Yeah. So that was good for me. That was one of my biggest move situations for that. But the biggest thing was probably the Black Squadron pilots being more of a detriment to what happened to Biggs because Biggs, 
didn't do what he was designed to do. No, I took Biggs because I wanted him to draw to draw fire, yeah. and he kept crashing into Black Squadron. Um, he play. did draw fire, but he was drawing fire toward uh, against the other escorts. He did not draw any of the fire away from the uh, CR90, the CR90. Uh, and that's what I originally intended him for. Part of that is with the strategy because I did peel him off right in the first round to uh, take yeah. out that first wave. It worked. Um, we, you know, one of the ships went down uh, pretty quickly. Yep. Uh, for that first wave, but he could never get back towards the CR-90, and part of that is that one damn black squadron pilot kept getting him away. Yeah. Um, but that's what he was supposed to do, so it, it worked out well for him. Biggs, yep. uh, unfortunately, uh, firepower-wise, Biggs did okay, but for what I wanted him to do, and, and to, you know, I was expecting Biggs to die. You know, third, fourth round, I was expecting to lose him, but that would have meant anywhere from uh, you know five, six, maybe more shots that he would have taken away from the CR-90. Especially with our two but unit, uh, it would have yeah. done a little bit more. But yeah, the Black Squadron pilot instantly came in and tied up that escort half. They, they, they stuck and dealt with that. They lost only half their number yeah. uh, compared to the other groups that were um, like Hal Runner and um, the Onyx pilot. Were gone. Hal Runner did his job uh, early on. Yeah, all the, the, the squadron of TIE fighters. Um, benefited from that extra roll and uh, decimated the front shield so when the, the, the bombers came out they did their job which they, they've they been doing all camp. The rookies, long. you know, when you just, talk about young pilots, just the, the black squadron pilots and the rookie pilots really performed with the best luck. Uh, two things I will say, um, just in case any comments come out of it, uh, there was a round that we didn't talk about uh, shooting with the CR-90, it was a couple rounds uh, before the end. He didn't have any uh, and shots. Uh, yeah, he range. didn't have any shots available be due to uh, firing arcs and distances. That's why we kind of skipped over it. And then uh, a couple of the rookie pilots I had really didn't use their R2 units because they just didn't have to. Mm -hmm. um, Mark Jacobs survived, my Patreon guy. Yep. He uh, took out a couple ships. Um, had an R2 unit. Didn't need to use it. He didn't need. To, he didn't take any hits. Um, one of my rookie pilots did use his R2 unit to cause stress, but it ended up causing stress on himself because he took out the other ship. Yeah. Um, so, so the upgrades really didn't help the X-Wings, more or less, except for maybe R2 on Biggs. Yeah. I, mean, my escort, thing, Biggs I would say my escort strategy overall wasn't, worked, yeah, except, wasn't for, bad. except for Biggs. Um, Mark Jacobs' uh, pilot and uh, the guy on the other rookie pilot on his end stayed tight to that left side was able to help out and do some damage. Yep. Um, the other rookie pilot with Biggs was doing wonderful. Biggs is the only one that kind of failed, and that was just because he couldn't get in position to absorb those fights. Yeah, but, uh, but that was the um, We both said it. It was a lot closer than I initially anticipated. We, when we yeah, it, it was up and down. I mean, yeah, you heard me comment. I was, like, surprised that I was, he was rolling such oh. brackets of threes, and I was, like, losing ships per round. I was getting a little bit like, wow, am I actually going to be doing thing? But when the scimitar pods came in and, uh, and did the payload to the front, then I felt pretty good. I knew I was going to get tighter from from that on, then on out. Uh, I was disappointed with Echo from from my part because uh, I had to gamble. If you if you're wondering what was going on with Echo, I had to gamble to try to get an angle on that back end. So uh, yeah, you mentioned you thought I was actually going to waggle the flat, yeah, the CR90 back you, to the left, and you, you didn't want to run into. And uh, I went with the strategy of pushing forward, um, using the front as a battering ram to take out that asteroid. And uh, yeah. that actually uh, hurt Echo's abilities because he didn't have a shot. Yeah. He wasn't able to cloak. Um, so my strategy actually worked on that end. But I think, you know, of all the uh, missions, again, the bombers really dictated it, uh, well, dictated it's, the scope of the battle. Just those cluster missiles. Classic. Are, are right on point. They do what they're supposed to do, and they put a lot of firepower, a lot of hurting on uh, on a single target. So, if you ask me if I'm the Imperials and uh, I'm going against a big ship, whether it's the CR-90 or the transport, yep. you can guarantee I'm bringing at least one bomber with some cluster missiles. Until some of the other bigger ships, uh, one of the bigger ships arrive for the... Yeah. Because the, the lot of the shuttle is really... Again, it's a shuttle. Uh, it's limited for that aspect, but bombers have payloads, they just they have the proton bombs and all that stuff they can load into it. So uh, and your strat well. you know strategy and uh, well, on this campaign, I will be interesting to see if any of you guys have played this campaign and did anything differently. But for the Imperials, it just makes sense to focus all as much as your firepower on the CR ninety because that 
you know, that's the key for the rebels is protecting it, getting it to do what it can do. And uh, so there was no need for you to fire at any of the escort ships. Um, yeah. And, and get them out of there. Well, I did, but. You I, did, but it was only because you didn't have any shots on the side. I always missed them. <laughs> Did, didn't happen. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we enjoyed it, and uh, thank you again for the campaign, and we will uh, we'll show you more once we got down the road.